Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Wednesday, January 14th, around 10.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. 2026! Holy macaroni. Corona Hole 15 is about to face Earth, and that means geomagnetic storm is in the forecast for January 17th. We've also got major snow coming to the West and long-term lies being held by the media. 2025 was the third hottest year ever recorded, but it's actually the lowest recorded temperature on Earth for almost 400 million years. How do you like them apples? Buckle up, buttercup, and keep calm. It's boom time. La Nina is going to be exchange with El Nino in just the next year as a polar vortex is taking hold. Michiganders better get ready for old-fashioned Michigan winter weather as, well, minus zero temperatures are headed to the region. Below zero wind chills in the forecast as frigid temps return for Detroit and winter storm watches are issued for parts of southern Mish. Holy macaroni. It is winter, folks, as an Arctic blast threatens to unleash bitterly cold air across the east and the south as the next iguana apocalypse approaches. And it's not just Friday that the iguana apocalypse approaches. Take a look at the new models. It is also going to be on Monday, fun day. So Monday as well will be treacherous for... Florida, with temperatures uh, in the southern regions reaching 38 degrees, we're going to have iguanas down for days, if not weeks. 2025 was the third hottest year ever recorded on Earth, according to data. Well, apparently they didn't look at the long-term data. It is actually the coldest point on Earth ever uh, for 450 million in years. I don't know why these so-called journalists don't look at data sets. Well, apparently they're not geologists and they're not that smart. Here is the last 65 million years on Earth and the global surface temperature. Here's where hominins begun and here's where we are now. This is a difference of nine degrees centigrade decrease. This is the coldest time in 450 million years, and they want you to worry about the temperature increasing by a degree. Absolutely insane. I don't know how they get away with it, but they've been doing it for decades. Quick look at the models. Here we are at Tornado HQ Live. You can see a huge amount of activity as far as snow and precipitation uh, in the Great Lakes and the Northeast currently. And now the full forecast. Well, we're in the barn once again, and I have a, a small update to bring to you. We've been in a situation in the last week. Reed Timmer. We've been sharing his content for over a decade, but his lawyers are now suing us for half a million dollars uh, for a 20-second clip that we used back in May of 2025. If you know any of his friends, please contact R Reed and tell him that we don't have that money to give him. Yeah, so that's where we're at here. Uh, bad news on the front. Here is the full forecast. Lake effect snow through Friday. Strong winds in the northern and central plains. A clipper-like system will drop down from Canada on Thursday, bringing blustery winter weather from the upper Michigan, Midwest, and into the Great Lakes through Friday. This system is expected to bring strong northerly winds to much of the northern and central high plains Thursday afternoon through Friday with gusts up to 60 miles per hour. Winter storm warnings and watches up in here in the Great Lakes region, and it's Brown Town, Leroy Brown. High wind watch for most of that region out in the Brown. 
I've never seen that. It's usually pink. <laughs> but weather.gov does whatever it does. Here's a quick look at the situation on the ground. We've got snow in the northeast moving east three, six, nine hours from now. You can see where most, most of that snow will fall. And then a nor'easter is going to pick up here on January 18th, just three days from now, and move up the coast of the most and bring heavy snow to places like Boston. And if we move it back, it's going to bring snow all the way down to the panhandle of Florida. Can you believe this beaster? Well, it is a nor'easter. Here's the total snowfall expected just in the next few days. This is six days out, seven, eight, nine. So there you can see the snow on the ground. We're going to see record snow in Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and, well, potentially the panhandle. So great news there. And have you seen Europe? Holy macaroni. 85% of the continent is covered in snow. This is a new development. And if you haven't seen it, this is the Kamchatka. Take a look at this. This is what's happening in Russia. They've received like 10 feet of snow in the last week. Hopefully they won't sue me for this content. But it is amazing, <laughs> nonetheless. Yeah, because I thought there was something called fair use, but according to their lawyers, no, there's no such thing. It has to be a cosmic catastrophe and the world has to be ending in order to share video clips. I'm like, no, we've been sharing video clips and news clips for decades. I do digress. Seismic update, one word. And you can see the ring of fire is rocking, but nothing spectacular is kicking off. Worldwide Volcano News, Santa Guito. Possible volcanic ash today, Ibu. An eruption was reported. Man, this is not working. My own on the list, puffing and passing, an eruption today occurred. Fuego to 16,000 feet. San Gay, possible volcanic ash. Sevadu, who knew? Now you do. Volcanic eruption was reported. Ibu as well. Fuego to 16,000. My own. Still no height level there. Popo to 20,000 feet. Volcanic ash possible at Redentador. 14,000 foot blast at Santa Guito. San Gay, possible volcanic ash. Fuego to 15,000 feet. And we've got Semadu, who knew, now you do, volcanic eruption was reported. Ibu reported as well, Conleon, an eruption to 9,000 feet there. And possible volcanic ash at Raventador, wrapping up the list for the day. Quick look at space weather for the 14th of January. We've got this massive coronal hole 15 facing Earth, and that will be geo-effective by the 17th, which is why we've got G1 geomagnetic storming happening then. Flaring is at a minimum, but we did hit above an M flare here just moments ago, so we're wondering where that came from, and we'll be keeping a close eye on the sun for you as the days progress. NASA deploys an orbital telescope designed to do something incredible. Well, it's looking for exoplanets around stars. This is something we haven't really found. We haven't really gotten a really good concept about this over the last few decades. But on Sunday, SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket stuffed with cargo carried a brand new NASA telescope into space where it was observed deploying the sun-synchronous orbit, the, ag the agency later confirmed. Dubbed Pandora, the orbital observatory is designed to hunt for distant worlds called exoplanets orbiting other stars. So we're waiting to see good news here from Pandora. Good news there. Frozen in time, 112 million-year-old insects found in Ecuador in amber. 
This is stratigraphy, folks. This is my specialty. So they're finding these insects in Konservat Lagerstadt, complete conservation. And this is going to give them amazing details in what is happening here at 112 million years ago. But in the article, they talk about the fact that this is all part of Gondwana. What they don't know is that at this time, Gondwana has already broken up and we're a bunch of plates moving across the ocean 100 million years ago. Yeah, ho ho. So absolutely garbage science coming from Science Tech Daily where they don't even know the paleoclimatology, which I do because that's my specialty. And you know what also is special? Silver! It hit 94. It hit $94 today. There is some volatility, so it's going down, but this will go back up. It'll be at 104 bucks tomorrow. Why are you missing out? You're one step away from getting your free Ronald Reagan silver coin. Yeah. For new customers only, you must have a minimum retirement savings of over 10 grand in order to qualify for the coin, but you are going to be transferring your garbage stock profile into precious metals. The stock market is going to crash. You're going to lose your savings unless you transfer it to precious metals. Mark, mark my words. Trust Gold Co., the industry leader from precious metal IRAs to direct purchases of gold and silver. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. They've helped thousands of Americans diversify and protect their savings. Why not you? Why not you? Why should you be left out? Look at the raise in this commodity. Holy mackerel. It's over 100%. You, if, if you switched a year ago, you would have double your retirement. That's all I have to say. And it's unobtainium and only going to the moon. And that's a boom. To knowledge, hit the thumbs up, share the video. Click the links below. Everything has been shown. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that is a boom. To knowledge. Yeah.